This is Mike and you're watching 30 Miles an Hour. Sitting in about 60 degrees, about six mile breeze. And, uh, yeah, let's get to fish and see what's back here. I am spot bouncing this morning, people. I'm gonna hit this bridge, I'm gonna hit a honey hole, try something new, and I'm out. I'm throwing a McCain Broken Back Special. I'm throwing my new Abu Garcia Pro Max with 15 pound uh, Stealth Blue Braid Spider Wire. I've got a thin leader. I'm throwing about a 12 to 15 pound mono leader. Light jig head. I'm really finessing them this morning. Real delicate, 15 pound liter. Light jig head. I don't have the patience for this this morning. I'm hitting all the good spots. If I don't get a hit soon, I'm about to pull out of here. At least need to get a bump. All right, I'm gonna bump this spot on bottom for a minute. If I don't do no good right here, I'm out of here, guys. This water is off color from the rain we've had recently. Not feeling it. I want to find fish today. I've tried several. I've tried three or four different depths: seven foot, three foot. This is probably four or five right here. Not so much as a bump from a pinfish. That's last cast. We're gonna take it out of here. Well, I'm at one of my old summer spots and I'm gonna go check it, see if it's doing anything. It's a little early for the grass flats, but there's a drop off here, so you never know. Oh my gosh, I just threw nuts all over the car. I sure do love this spot. It's a beautiful spot. Man, let's get out here and see if we can find some fish. No almas today. I'm just gonna be uh, covering a lot of territory. Didn't feel like I needed them. Didn't want to drag the extra weight down, so that's what I love about the almonds, you got the option. I was just fishing in 12 foot of water. I'm gonna run back and grab some bait, go back out and drop some bait off the back. And you don't think this Revo is fast? Holy smoke! I dropped the seat down in low position so I could really crank. 
flying, man. I want to say I'm twice as fast as an Outback. So I've run out a lot deeper, maybe 12 to 15 foot. I'm putting on a, a gulp ripple shad with a, a big, heavy bomber jig head. I'll put all this in the description, what I'm using. I just wanted a gulp with a lot of mass, a lot of stink, and big, because it's a big rod and I'm going deep. So. So I ran all the way out here in the middle of the sound to this buoy. If the red buoy's on your right, you're coming home. That's how you know when you're offshore. If the green buoy's on your right, you're headed out. I'm in approximately 20, 25 foot of water. And how am I, I'm doing, using my Cajun depth finder yet again. Cast it out, let it sink to the bottom. And this time I have a 7.3 rod, still roughly calling it seven foot. Once it sinks to the bottom, I reel up all my slack to the to the to where the uh, water level is. All right, and I lift. There's seven foot, reeling my slack to the water level. There's 14 feet, reeling my slack to the water level. There's 21 feet, 22, 23, 24, 20. It's exa almost exactly 25 foot deep. Got a solar panel on it and a blinker. Is anything down here? Deep, 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 deep. Man, if I keep going right now, I'll end up on the uh, Pensacola Beach. Hooray! What's he doing? Well, that's cool. At least I saw some life. Jeez. A guy wade fishing right there. Looks like he's got him a hot spot. I'll talk to him. Any good? Uh, not yet. Yeah. No, man. I've been running all over. It's a little early. I've seen a few scattered around here and I've caught a couple. Of Have you? Yeah, there's not a lot yet. Specs or what? Yeah. Reds? Yeah, it needs to warm up a little bit. He's found a couple of reds right here on the flat, so. That's cool. Let's see what we can't find. Water tip needs to raise just a little bit. I'm still searching, y'all. There goes the stingray. Still looking. Hadn't seen any more reds, but it's getting hot. It's well into the low to mid 70s now. Bait's starting to move up on the flat. That's a good sign.
This is a little ode to my buddy Trip from sailing and such. Well, this is something he would do. Uh oh, looks like Teresa's after me. I have paddled my butt off this morning. To no avail. I saw three reds and a puffer and a bunch of stingrays, and that's about it. Let's see what the old ball and chain wants. Well, we'll see what I can do between here and the launch. Flats, the grass flats are starting to heat up around here. I bet the afternoon would have been better than the morning. Later in the morning we got, the more activity I'll see as far as bait and fish. Got the old Walmart hammock today. Left the Enos at home. This is the one I hang around the house in the, in the trees in the yard. The ones that I pack, you know, that are lighter and stuff, I didn't grab. I just grabbed this one because it's convenient. It's like 22 bucks at Walmart. Gotta love hammocks, man. I love them. This big, you got a bed anywhere. As long as you got two trees, this is going to be a critical rest spot when it gets to summertime and it gets hot. I paddled out to that buoy, 25 feet of water, came back to the flats, paddled past the Oaks Reserve to a neighborhood. Fish the flats in the neighborhood. And a little bit of their canal. I won't stop to eat while I'm fishing. I just won't. I just throw and throw and throw. Throw and go, man. Taking some calories on my squirrel diet. No telling what that boy can do with that squirrel diet. Keep on keeping on, man. You're gonna cut some fish. Cause you're eating all the bananas. I said I ain't caught no fish. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to fish. Man, mm -hmm. my wife is blowing me up. I'm gonna finish eating. I'll catch you after a while. All right, I just broke down that little camp spot and ran into Mike. What's happening, bud? What's up? You saw the car? Yeah, I saw you guys' car, and I was with my friend's grandma, and I was like, like I begged her to turn around, and I was like, I've seen like every single one of these guys' video. Like, really? Yeah, and she turned around, so I've got two of my friends are all the way down there, and. I was like, all right, I'm gonna go and see if I can find their kayaks to take a picture of them. <laughs> and then they were like, oh, you're not gonna find them. So they're back there fishing and I That's found That's cool. Good. Part of the what nation out here. And you fish over here a lot? Uh, not really. I'm from Woodstock, Georgia. Oh, okay. So, thank you. Well, there we go. Nice to meet you, buddy. Nice to meet you, too. Is it cold? Yeah, it's pretty cold. <laughs> Hey guys, nice to meet y'all. Thanks again. Sure thing.